Let's go on a getaway road trip across all the Texas trio posts. Road trip! Hey, hey. We're getting started on the road trip. We're about to head to Houston. <laughs> Starting the road trip off strong, we're headed straight to Rouse's Valley. It took us about two hours to get to our beautiful cabin. Shout out Jeannie. Our cabin was stunning. It was giving glamping, wake up next to nature. Shout out to whoever put in the tip to do shadow puppets once it got dark because we got real creative. Here's my attempt at a moose slash reindeer. I don't know if this is a frog and this is my giant killer bunny. And of course a mermaid. The next morning, we really just wanted to reconnect with nature. So we took a little stroll around the walking trails. Nature walk. We got lost maybe. Could have gone the wrong way, possibly. You know, we'll figure it out. After finding our way back to the cabin, we high key still had a lot of energy left. So we really tapped into our gymnastics era because we were really trying to figure out how to successfully do this Superman thing when you hold someone up. Literally just acting a fool, jumping around the beds. Then we tried to figure out who could hold an arch the longest and let me tell you, it was neither of us. We also really got into a sprinting kick. We did these a couple of times. We got tired and took a quick shower. We set up our cute little painting date. We really had no clue what we were gonna paint at first, but it came out so good and it was just real therapeutic to paint outside. I already know I wouldn't be camping if we didn't make some s'mores by the fire pit. And yes, they did get burned a little bit, but that's okay because that's how the best s'mores come out. After that, it was wraps and we took off the next morning to Piney Woods. This one was one of the longest drives. It was a smooth three hours, but don't worry because I had my Spotify playlist keeping me going the whole ride. And it was so worth it because I got to pick up my best friend after not seeing her for months. She just recently moved to Dallas, so you know I had to hit her up. Just picked up Valeria. Ah! We're on our way to the next location, to Peggy Woods in outside of Dallas. <laughs> Baby, The drive into the cabins was super chill and so scenic. We did not waste any time turning on the Bluetooth speaker and playing all of our jams. We were literally going off. If you've ever been part of a fandom, then you'll understand why we were just having so much fun. Our priorities on the first day were really trying to figure out how to set a fire for ourselves. Same as last time, they came in so clutch because they have all the stuff you need to make the perfect campfire. And if it's one thing me and Valet are gonna do is laugh at nothing. Here we are teaching y'all how to roast marshmallows correctly. And you already know I had to take a pic. So cute. Since we hadn't seen each other for a long time, every morning was literally just like a catch-up debrief on what we've been up to. And every morning after breakfast, we would go out to the walking trail and just kind of explore, trying to see if we could spot any of the local animals. On our last night as a sunset, we really just decided we wanted to chill and just spend some quality time together. We picked up books, played a couple of iFi games, and then wrapped it up. Where I had to drop her off and head off to my next location back in Austin. Road trip, Hey, y'all. <laughs> this time, I gathered a couple more of my besties to head with me to Hill Country. We've been looking forward to this for a minute because we don't get to spend a lot of time together post-grad, so being bunked for the weekend was just what we needed. I love this setup so much, especially when you have more people, even if some of those people are morning people and some of those people are not. <laughs> We're gonna go sprinting? Shipping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kiki, oh my God. <laughs> We spent so much time outdoors just grilling, spilling tea, and honestly just bonding. It was really cool just getting to spend a lot of time with our friends, doing activities that don't require much technology. Like we really got into our embroidery era. You already know I had to whip up the marshmallows because I can't live without s'mores. Not to brag, but I really perfected the technique. Sober, I actually want to Arts and crafts era. Walking trail. This is where the fairies live. Like the fairy house. Right over there. We, mm -hmm. we were talking to them just now. We're about to check out in a little bit. I had so much fun like just traveling around Texas. And I don't know, I had a really, really fun and wholesome experience with everyone that came. Like, so thankful that I have all these friends in all these places that are able to come along with me on these great experiences. I would 10 out of 10 do this over and over and over again. Goodbye, house. That's a wrap for my getaway summer road trip around Texas. Until the next getaway.